So Mario Kart 8 has a lot to offer. Those anti-gravity sections, balanced game mechanics and gorgeous looking tracks really did the job, putting the sale numbers at 1.2 million copies during launch weekend. Pretty good, huh? However, IGN for example only rated it 9 out of 10, which means but amazing. Did Nintendo intentionally leave out the details that would make it a masterpiece? Well, if these details are yet to come, then that means there will have to be a DLC. At this moment, it's already announced that Japan will be getting a Mercedes DLC, so Nintendo is probably, hopefully, working on some other DLCs. In this video, I will talk about the things that I would like to see in a DLC. I will only cover aesthetical DLCs though. These won't force the gamer to play with others who have the DLC as well. It will become clear once we start. So let's discuss the good stuff. Number 5 We all once heard something of texture hacking. If you haven't, don't get scared by the hacking part. Texture hacking or texturing only is giving an object other colors or patterns. This could lead to astonishing results. Even minor changes would affect the whole picture. In some cases, the textures creations were even prettier than the Nintendo originals. In other cases, the textures sucked. But there's one thing, texturing isn't supported by Nintendo, so it wasn't possible for everyone to change Mario's standard card color for example. Why don't we make this legal? Just imagine yourself gliding over an anti-gravity section with your green effect tires, blasting off mini turbos in that same emerald green color. It would give the same game a whole new aspect and it won't change the gameplay, unless flashing golden spiny shells blind your vision. Number 4 the Wii U is known as a next generation console, so everyone expected something huge with a top notch series like Mario Kart. I know, I know, it runs at 60 frames per second in full HD resolution, which adds to the visual side of this game. But I have to admit that, despite having 8 cups full of picture perfect tracks, I'm not really satisfied just yet. The creativity of the makers of the tracks can reach a whole new level with this anti gravity feature. So why not add an extra pair of cups? If you haven't noticed already, the cup selection screen offers room for 4 more cups. So that's something that I would really enjoy seeing. It would give back the feel of custom tracks for Mario Kart Wii. This is a service for Mario Kart Wii players by Mario Kart Wii players. Which also required some minor kind of hacking. Sorta. They would create their own tracks on which you could race, of course. They weren't without glitches, but, but Nintendo could do a great job supporting this stuff by default. Number 3 There has been a lot of controversy about the playable characters in Mario Kart 8. A large portion of the roster consists of babies and Koopalings, not to mention the metal characters. If there's going to come another DLC, then it definitely should contain character packs. Let's say one pack consists of three characters. How about having a Kong package, with Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and of course, Funky Kong. Even though Funky won't be as overpowered as he was in uh, Mario Kart Wii, most people will be glad to see him return. Why not an additional Halloween package, released on the Halloween event itself? Where is Dry Bones, and where is Dry Bowser, or King Boo? Of course, we shouldn't be sticking to Mario Kart Wii all the time, but hey, Mario Kart 8 doesn't offer any scary characters yet, unless you have a fear of cuteness. Besides, introducing seasonal DSCs could get us Birdo back at Easter. And last but not least, I would really enjoy seeing a Toad package. I'm a huge fan of Toads, as you already know if you've watched my Discovery Toad series. We already have Toadette, that's right, but Toadsworth, for example, never got the chance to crawl in a cart. Why not make the Space Toad a playable character as well? And just to break the boundaries, let's introduce the Blorps Toad to Mario Kart. This would be Toad's only chance of getting in the heavy class, really. Number 2 Mario Kart 7 introduced the vehicle customization feature. By collecting coins, you unlock random car parts with their own specific stats. But there's one category of parts that almost everyone wanted. Of course, the golden parts. 
You could unlock them by beating certain missions or collecting a ridiculous amount of coins. However, Mario Kart 7 didn't feature any bikes, so there was no such thing as a golden bike. Whereas Mario Kart 8 does feature bikes. Sadly enough, there are no signs of golden bikes to unlock, which is kind of disappointing me. That's why I would really, really like to see a DLC package come with two golden bike parts. One for inside drifting and one for outside drifting. You have to admit it. Your golden tires wouldn't look so silly anymore beneath your body part. Number 1 Mario Kart is a game for everyone. Young and old players, casual and experienced gamers. Nonetheless, it always featured the aspect of showing off what you have accomplished. The VR system was both a great way to show your skill and to find other players of your experience level. But besides that, you also had your Grand Prix ranking next to your name. Up till Mario Kart 8, it was one of the best ways to express your skill level in Mario Kart. But now, the ranking isn't shown anymore next to your name. And just in my mere opinion, I think that's a great loss of tradition. But there's still hope. I would rather like it to be a patch or something instead of DLC, but Nintendo could include trophies next to your in-game name. For buying the Halloween package, you would get a pumpkin. For the custom NI Gravity color set, you would get a spark. And above all that, you get your star ranking shown as well. Wouldn't that be great? Well, dear viewers, this wraps it up for my thoughts, ideas, and opinions on upcoming Mario Kart 8 DLCs. If you agree with one of my ideas, or if you have like your own brand new idea, then go ahead and leave it in the comments. Who knows, one day Nintendo might find this future database of, like, DLC ideas? So anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this show, you can always, always leave a like to support my channel. And if you're interested in more Mario Kart 8 content, then be sure to stick around and subscribe, because there are a lot of videos coming. I am Matt from Gaming Corner, signing out.